Well, I'm off to the governor's convocation. Look sharp, old boy. You're in the big city. You should talk, cowboy, in that hayseed get up. Mr. Luke has arrived. Show him in. Show him in. Welcome, Mr. Luke. Please take a seat. I'd like you to meet my friend, Sam Twistfeller. Pleasure to meet you, Luke. Talk about a living legend. <laughs> Charmed, I'm sure. Sam is the biggest cattle breeder in Texas. Mm-hmm. Well, that's splendid. Got some livestock you want moved? <laughs> oh, yeah, you hit it on the nose, fella. I suppose you could call it livestock. He means the Daltons. The Daltons? Yes, as you know, the Daltons are currently serving a sentence of 4,568 years of forced labor, a sentence that grows longer with each escape. Have you any idea what it costs the state? It's too expensive. We must find a solution. Sam has proposed an interesting project for rehabilitating the boys into society. What? I sure do. Fifteen hours a day behind a cow will cure anybody of the desire to rob banks. Believe you me. You'll be overseeing the operation and keeping an eye on those wild dogs, which should be a cinch for you, since you've been doing it for so long. This is crazy. I won't get involved in such a dangerous and doomed enterprise. Well, what a pity. We'll just do it without you, then. Then you'll be calling on me to round them up after they give you the slip. Well, sure, why not? <sighs> okay, let's get it over with. Besides, seeing the Daltons on the farm should prove amusing. Right, Sam? <laughs> it sure as shooting will be! Ain't it grand, Joel? The prison bosses are sending us on a free country vacation. Avril, shit your trap. Hey, smell that? You mean the cow pies? I mean the money. Well, if it ain't Lucky Luke, make yourself at home. And as far as you filthy coyotes, you best be on your guard. My men shoot first and ask questions later. Hank, get these sorry boys in a work clothes. Sure thing, boss. Come on, follow me. It is so cruel to fence in these Mustangs when they should be galloping wild and free. Yeah. Come on, get to work. Yeah. Can't be any harder than busting rocks in the pan. That's gotta hurt. It's only the first yep. day, Luke. We gotta break him in. A Dalton's like a Mustang, except a whole lot uglier. Buck up, my wild friends. On the other side of this fence lies freedom. I want you to meet the person more dear to me than anyone in the world. Hmm? Uh, is that your son? Nah, that's my daughter, Cynthia. You the dude shoots faster than his own shadow? I'd sure like to see that. Guess I'll just leave you two to get acquainted. No time, Pa. Got three steers to brand. Yeah! What do you think of a Luke? Oh, you know me. I've got my lonesome cowboy reputation to uphold. I sure would like her to find a husband. She's 34, not getting any younger. Aren't there some unwed lumberjacks around? Oh. Keep an eye on him. Yep. We have to find where this guy's hiding his loot. And as soon as we've done that, I'm going to take out Lucky Luke and we're going to blow this gump for good. Ain't nobody going nowhere. Doff your hats, there's a lady present. <sighs> Bed's ready. Let's turn in. Good evening, ma'am. Uh, hello there. I'm Cynthia. Ma'am, I'm Avril. 
Yes. Oh, well, I have to. Well, good night. <laughs> good night, ma'am. Hey, Avril, looks like you're quite the cutie pie. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mama thought so. <laughs> Don't have a bite with us, little darling. I ain't hungry. <laughs> yeah. Up and at him, you farmers. Get to work, you hero no rescuer. Finish up yesterday's coffee and get out and brand some steers. Y'all work better on an empty stomach. Uh, I finished my coffee! Morning, Pa! <laughs> you don't need coffee, sweet cake. <laughs> Hello, Sam. What? <laughs> Looks like you're gonna get your wish. I'm afraid Cynthia staked her claim on Avril. But, uh, but, but, uh, but... It's not what every dad dreams of for his daughter, but she chose the nicest of the four, at least. Enjoying your breakfast, Avril. Oh, yes, ma'am. You can call me Cynthia. What are you doing there? No peeping in the box. <laughs> Get back to your brand, you lazy goofs. Come here, little Kathy. <laughs> While we're here slaving away, that big dummy gets to play with his gal pal. <laughs> we'll teach him a little lesson tonight after sundown. No, no, we won't, you imbecile. For once, the dummy's useful to us. How's that, Joe? She's got to know where Pa keeps his loot, and Avril's the one who's going to get it out of her. Get cracking over there, you slugs. And I want that branding to look real pretty. <laughs> big baby. <laughs> My brothers, I got worse to do. Not anymore, Abby Poo. You've been excused from all your chores. You get to play all day. Well, Ma'am, I don't dare. We hardly know each other. Well, we have all day to fix that, don't we? But I don't want to. I prefer my brothers. <laughs> Damn, don't you? Yeah. Hey. I don't want to hear about your brothers. Now we're gonna have fun, and you're gonna keep smiling, cause you're with your darling sweetie. Okay, ma'am. And call this Cynthia. Mm -hmm. What's the matter? You wanna make a complaint? Maybe you was hoping for T-bone steaks. What you got splitting good enough for a gag of major jackals like you? Have you seen Afril? I've been looking for him for an hour. I'll go and get him for you, my dear. Excuse me. Avril! Avril! Zoom zone! And it smells so good! You're gonna treat the lady real nice! Yeah, Joe! Oh. And you'll do it yourself! Yeah, Joe! You'll even I, kiss her if she asks you to! Oh no, Joe! Yes, Joe. Avril! Oh. Look at you, you're all sweaty. I'm gonna give you a bath. But I had one last year. <laughs> He's got her where he wants her. Hey, you little dwarf, you're not on a picnic. Ah. Yeah. Who are you calling a dwarf? Just me, me. Relax, Joe, and take a deep breath. <laughs> Look at Luke, I'm gonna burn. Joe's pretty quiet for a guy who's always dreamed of raking it in. A nice metal brush! The bulls love it. Help. Let's move! 
It's time to sleep right now, Joe, old boy. Don't talk about work, Joe. You lip wimps, you're even more useless than Avril. Guard! Guard, I gotta go out! Use the bucket like you're supposed to. I can't, it's already full. Till tomorrow, darling Avery Pooh. Sweet dreams, dear. Oh, isn't he wonderful? La 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 Joe! I can't take it, Joe. She scrubs me. She does my nails. She combs my hair. Let me call you Grattan. She brushes my teeth. She takes my temperature. She scares me, Joe. I know what she wants from me. I want to be with you. Now you listen to me, you hopeless idiot. You're going to declare your love for Cynthia. Like the Declaration of Independence? No, you nincompoop. You're going to tell her you love her. And then when she's all googly-eyed, you ask her where her pa keeps his loot. Huh? Come again? Did you call me my sweet Go on, tell her. I don't know how you do it, Joe. You dummy, just repeat after me. You look perturbed, Avi Pooh. Your grace and largesse, dear Cynthia, inflame my heart and soul. Your greasy largeness, dear Cynthia, inflames my heart and soul. <laughs> you stupid imbecile, listen up! You stupid imbecile, listen up! <laughs> your lovely eyes are as blue as the sky, Cynthia, and your charms as endless as the vast prairie. And when I look at you, my dear, I just about keel over from sheer joy. Where does your paw keep his money? Not so fast, Joe. Who are you talking to, Avril? The plant. He's talking to the plant. To the plant. He's talking to the plant. A true poet. A friend to the flowers. I was pretty good, huh? Gee, Joe. You busted out just to fight over a dame? Lucky Luke. Go on, Joe. Get some rest. You have a hard day tomorrow. And Avril, you stay in your room. I'm watching you. You hear that, Avril? Do as you're told. That's an obsession. <laughs> it was only last night that he declared his love. This was Avril's doing all right. A fella can only take so much! I hate someone kissing me all the time! I'll go get him. Don't let the others escape while I'm gone. Uh, is it really necessary to bring him back? It was your idea, Sam. Rehabilitation requires sacrifice. Come on, Jelly. Where could he have gone? Where there's free food and laundry. And there aren't any girls. Open up! It's me! Avril Dalton! I've come home! Go to the devil, Avril! We're getting along fine without Dalton's! Lie on your bunk like a good boy, you're having a dream. Come on, Avril, back to the ranch. Oh, no! Avril, be nice. Your fiancé's waiting. Oh, man, they just ain't no justice. It's the first time in my career I've seen a convict dig a tunnel in order to get into prison. You should try to build stronger loyalty in your clients, like with Avril here. You might hold on to him longer. I thought you didn't want to see me anymore. I don't want to see you anymore. Your voice gives me a case of the willies. I want my brothers. <laughs> Stop calling me Abby Boo. Me. We're funny.
fish forever. Ain't life grand. When are we gonna bust out of this place, Joe? When we find the loot. Avril, you're gonna make up with Cynthia. No! Joe, you won't ever get Avril to do anything useful. Let's just forget about the loot and beat it out of this lousy prison. Ha! He'll make up with her and I'll show you how. Start your yapping. Uh. What are we gonna eat, Joe? I don't, I don't eat it, Joe. It. I ain't life, Graham. How's that? <laughs> oh, that's too rich. You're just like twin brothers. <laughs> Good old Joe. He's better than me. Your acting is incredible, Joe. God, God, I have to go out. You won't fool me twice in a row. But it's not me. It's Avril. Miss Cynthia calls for me. Oh, well, in that case. <laughs> Shut up, Avril. Wow, horse thieves are about. At last, these poor creatures can go free. Watch out for the rake. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Ah. <laughs> Avril! <laughs> Rift and Dumb's attacking me. What are your teeth waiting for? The horse is over there. Will you get us some horses and watch Avril so he doesn't give us away? <laughs> Cynthia! Cynthia! Is it you, Avril? Yes, it's me, all right. I want to say I'm sorry and that I love you. <laughs> Oh, take me away with you, Abby Pooh. Far from your brothers. <laughs> Especially the creepy little one. We're gonna need a bit of pocket money to cover traveling expenses. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Avril, this caper's head and shoulders above your usual stunts. Hands up. All four of them. Let us bind our lives in courtly love like men and maids of old. Yeah. Let us bind the old maid. He's even playing your night love strike gal. But he's a lot nicer. I know what. We'll open up the cattle pen and create a diversion. I'm going to tell Joe you had an idea without his permission. <laughs> <laughs> Just one last little job before we leave. <laughs> I've waited so long for this. <laughs> You're right, old boy. Yep. Oh, that gal of yours plays rough. Try and forgive a Luke. Love's been known to drive even the best of us to crazy extremes. And to blind us, too, drat that Joe and Avril. Though there's no love lost between them. Where are they? Well, uh, they plumb got away. Cynthia's gone after them. Alone? But that's crazy. Well, you see, my hands have to round up the cattle. I tried my darndest to talk her out of it, but you know how stubborn she can be. Don't worry, Sam. I'll bring him back and save Cynthia. I'd be worrying huh? more about them if I was you. Cynthia knows this territory inside out, and I don't think she's a happy gal. <sighs> Avril, you slimy little earwig. I'll teach you to spurn the love of a fine woman like me. We're rich, we're rich. We're rich. Yeah! And if it hadn't been for your clever idea, I'd have eliminated Lucky Luke by now! I told him he wasn't allowed to have ideas, Joe. They won't get away! Avril, I'm gonna tear your little heart out! Let 
me handle this, Cynthia. You're not in your right mind. <laughs> See where your irresistible charm has gotten us? Sorry to manhandle you this way, Miss Twistfeller, but love has made a crazed fiend out of you. Sorry about your girl, Sam. I think she could do with a good long rest. Don't you worry, Luke. She'll be just fine. Oh, your first love is always the worst, but with a little work, she'll be right as rain. And, uh, speaking of work, are you sure you don't want to rehire the Daltons? You were right all along, Luke. Now I know the only good Dalton is an incarcerated Dalton. I'm with you there. Adios, Sam.